taking a video of my darling. She's been poked and prodded and hooked up to electrical cables and given blood and given some pee and given a whole list of instructions. But the good news is she might be swimming a lot sooner than we thought she would be because Gabe, well, Gabe isn't going to understand. What? You can't go swimming? How do you feel, baby? Tired. I need some coffee. Yeah, we we're hoping that that bag of fluid was Folgers Special Dark Roast Blend. But, sweetie, when's the last day you've gone without a cup of coffee? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. That's a good question. It's probably been a long, long time. I mean, we're talking decades, probably? No, probably when I... At the last surgery. Oh. When we decide not to have other kids. Jury's still out on that one, sweetie. Nature finds a way. Not, Na not this time. Nature finds a way. Sweetie, I love you. I love you too. I'm glad they didn't take my blood pressure today. I didn't have any coffee either, but I don't really need it right now. Hopefully, well, this will be a two-part video. I know my sweetie, one of her favorite videos of all time was when uh, I was done with my colonoscopy and I had the anesthesia. I came out drunk as a skunk and my sweetie turned the video on me and took a video of me while I was inebriated by the anesthesiologist, sweetie. Mm -hmm in vino veritas so can't wait to see you we're gonna get you a milkshake today if you want one mm -hmm. and and a cup of coffee I want coffee. we can we get you should we go get you one of those coffee milkshakes at that one place i forget where that was uh, the, that's, that's... no the board game cafe place oh, they had yeah. the they had the amazing coffee flavored milkshake but I, i'm trying to think where that was that was on the way to parker john's i think down on the main street, Menasha, Nina border. So, all right, sweetie. This has definitely got to be a happy, happy ending two-parter. Okay, mm -hmm. you got to do your best. I'm working on. Should I should I tell the audience how I I tried to make you angry so you survived? Yeah, you should tell them. Should I? So I tell them I looked at that. You I said I said terrible. No, I said your hair looked beautiful with a little bit of sarcasm. Put a fire in her. Put a fire in her. Sweetie. Mm. I love you. I found it. I'm going to measure this rock with my arm to see how many cubits it is across. It's a little bit longer than two and a half cubits wide. So there's no doubt, no doubt in my mind that at one point in time, a cup of coffee rested upon this sacred sacred stone and there it is ah, my darling wife and i were watching william shatner who's in his 90s now talk on a show in the waiting room of the hospital about the location of the lost ark and uh there was a lot of people measuring rocks and stuff with their forearms to see how many cubits stuff is but uh ah, all I can do is wait and not lose this ring. You know, this, uh, my wife is not allowed to wear any jewelry in her surgery. So I've got this little diamond pinky ring on to make sure I don't lose it physically, lose the ring physically and lose, uh, lose it emotionally. Because what am I without my wife? Ah. <sighs> All she wants is a cup of coffee. So take things for granted sometimes. But uh, I'm hoping that in 40 minutes from now, I'll be taking another video of her in the recovery room and hopefully she'll be as groggy and beautiful, as wonderful and as magical as she always is. So can't wait to get her home and get her that cup of coffee. She deserves it.
1325099 my sweetie's in procedure uh, looking at that screen is not as exciting as uh looking at old Shatner talking about the lost ark but I went out and got a cup of coffee and trouble just seems to find me I was sitting by the emergency exit sipping that coffee and this uh, guy in blue scrubs comes up with a beard he's banging on the door and wants me to let him in the emergency exit door and it's uh, got a sign on it it says you know if you open this darn door an alarm will sound he's like no no it won't it won't and I like shook my head and said no dude there are rules go in the front door and then I saw him again and he's like I'm gonna have your job dude I need to find out who this gentleman is. You know, in the old days, I might, uh, up the ante a little bit, you know, because I am not afraid of conflict whatsoever. But I don't think my wife, who is in surgery right now, would like me getting into a dust up with a doctor in the parking lot of a hospital. I think my wife would want me to be kind. And uh, uh, I had one of these in my jacket sleeve. My guess is that gentleman might need some kindness. Hi, Beth. How are you doing today? My name is Jerry. I'm a, a nervous husband waiting in the waiting room, and uh, I saw a dial zero zero on the phone here for assistance from the operator. I was wondering if you could do me a favor and tell me who the individual is at this hospital who's in charge of security. Do you have a chief of security? Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, John, my name's Jerry. I'm a nervous husband waiting for his wife to get done with surgery. And I just called the operator and I said, I know, could I find out who the chief of security here is at the hospital? And I was wondering if you could help me out by giving me that information. Dan Smith. Well, I might I might shoot Dan an email later on this week. Well, earlier today, I was uh, standing by the emergency exit door waiting, you know, trying to get cell phone service because in the center of the building, my cell phone doesn't work. So I was sitting by this, uh, sitting by the emergency exit door trying to text my uh, mom and this gentleman in blue scrubs comes up and wanted me to open the emergency exit door for him. And, and that, you know, seemed like a very, very, yeah, that's, you know, that, that's a, that's a big deal, you know, maybe, maybe not to him or maybe not to like a layman, but, you know, if people are coming and going out of, you know, you know, emergency exits doors that aren't, you know, supervised by cameras and stuff like that, that's something that really, you know, needs to be kiboshed as, as far as a, I, I would I would like to find out the name of that gentleman. You know, he was very rude to me. And, you know, I don't know if he assumed that I was employed here, you know, because I told him from a security standpoint, you just can't do that. You can't let people in random doors. And he's like, dude, I'll have your job. Well, he doesn't want my job. Trust me. He doesn't want it. You know, my job is 
it's a whole nother animal. So, um, but I would like, do you know his, do you know his first and last name? No, 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 no. The gentleman that uh, came. Okay. Uh, okay. If you could give me that information, you know, I'm not looking to have him lose his job. I'm all in the business, believe it or not, of kindness. You know, I try to make the world a better place with kindness. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that gentleman was running late or if he, you know, there's nobody that's under more pressure than a surgeon or a doctor or, you know, in an emergency room situation. So I get that, but, you know, I just wanted to, to let him know, hey, everything's okay. I appreciate you and what you're doing, saving people's lives. But, you know, you got to appreciate the people that are trying to keep you and everybody in this hospital safe, too. Let's let's uh, have a kind of a mutual respect thing going on. So, so um, yeah, I will try to get a hold of Dan Smith, shoot him an email. Hopefully I can get that uh, physician's name and then, you know, send him an email like, hey, you know what? It's okay, you know. Let's, let's let's make the world a better place with kindness, not with you know rudeness and hostility. So, okay, okay, sounds great. Oh, one second, my, my nine two zero. Okay, okay. And what was your first name again? John, thanks for doing what you do. You know, the thing is, like, the security guards at my hospital that I work at, so underappreciated, do such a good job, you know, and uh, I have nothing but respect for you and, and the gentleman. Who's the other young gentleman that was working the front? Tula? Do you tell Mr. D, you know, and I wish I could buy you gentlemen a cup of coffee. You know what? Hey, I appreciate what you guys do. Keep, you know, you know, my wife is safer because of you gentlemen. So you guys, I appreciate you. Well, you know what? In, in this cruel world we live in, John, you know, trying to promote kindness. Ooh, that's a tough job, my friend, but I'm going to keep at it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Bye. This is a healing environment. Aggressive behavior has no place here. Think before you act. I'm tempted to take that sign off the wall, stuff it in my bag, and put it up on the walls at my hospital, but I won't do that. But uh, it's very important that kindness remain in the equation when it comes to healing. What an adventure we have. Sweetie, mm -hmm. I've been keeping it safe for you. No, oh, thank you. Oh, sweetie, you look so tired. There was a big empty spot inside the x-ray where the coffee needs to be. It's so hot, sweetie, it is so hot. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, sweetie, we made it. Yeah. I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you. I, I didn't get in a fight. Oh, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>